All right, hi, I'm Jeff Johnson. I'm from uh, Gremby Apps. Uh, so two years ago, uh, oh, actually starting when our son was uh, under two years old, he had some developmental delays that allowed him to be a much better visual learner than an audio learner. So at the time, what we found out that worked the best were visual schedules and storyboards that we drew out on a piece of paper, just with stick figures, an arrow, and let's say a car. And this relieved his anxiety greatly, and we saw a, a market improvement in him right away. So about two years ago, I'm a software engineer, my wife's a physical therapist, uh, I had the first generation iPhone, you know, the uh, iPhone SDK was just catching fire at the time, so I said, let's make an app on the iPhone that lets you take real world pictures of a child's environment and lets you make these storyboards out of them, so you can make it, and it's, you know, it's on a discrete platform, the iPhone, and then when the iPad came out, that our business actually took off even more. And so, you know, we basically developed an app that used the camera and used the gestures built already into the devices to create these real-world visual schedules. And uh, this was about two years ago, like I said. So over these two years, we've gotten some great feedback from users, parents, professionals, uh, that have led to many improvements and updates that, you know, basically I go out and code, and then I push them out to the world, and everyone has these updates now that, uh, that help out greatly. So I thought I'd show you just real quick some screenshots, but if... You know, I'd be glad to demo this app. I'm back in the Cape Cod room. I can show you, show it to you on the iPad. And uh, here you have the pictures, which are the building blocks for all the storyboards. Now, all these pictures can either be pictures you took with your camera. You can do a Google image search if you don't have the image uh, available. We also uh, have partnered with someone to do a symbol set, if that's uh, what you want to use for that. You can record custom audio behind all these pictures, so you can use that audio for uh, reinforcement of whether it's an idea or a concept or just a word that you know, you're trying to reinforce. And here you'll see generated a visual schedule going to the uh, playground. You know, we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna go to the playground, we're gonna get back in the car, and we're gonna go home. And there's all the custom audio behind that too to, to reinforce if you want. You can also print all these storyboards out now with the new AirPrint feature that's in uh, iOS. We have another type of storyboard where we just show you one task at a time. So if you want to get them to transition from task to task, you're going to use a swiping uh, gesture to move to the next screen. You can add check marks to show that a task is completed and then move on to the next step. Or you can do something like a choice board where they're going to make a snack choice. Up there you'll see, you know, do you want an apple, a pretzel, or a grape? They can point to it. They can tap on it, get the audio uh, reinforcement for it. So some of our future pan, uh, plans include, uh, over the last year, uh, we've attended a bunch of uh, assistive technology conferences. So Closing the Gaps in Minnesota, uh, ASHES, the American Speech and Language and Hearing Association, at their annual convention in uh, uh, Philadelphia. In two weeks, we're going to uh, ATIA Orlando, and we have a booth there where we're going to uh, uh, you know, uh, show off our apps and get the word out some more. And then there's also a... Uh, Mobile 2000 event that is more geared towards uh, education and school systems. You know, using iPads and using mobile devices and apps and stuff like that. Uh, we're presenting at that conference too. And uh, we also want to further relationships with schools, clinics, hospitals, and professionals. And uh, we're also, of course, looking to move to other platforms like Android and, you know, the Windows 7 mobile platform. And, you know, really, our business plan is really to develop more apps for ourselves and sort of increase the income that we're getting from the apps uh, currently, and then also a consulting piece where, you know, I could develop apps also. And uh, again, you know, come back, I'd be glad to show you, uh, show you the app and a couple other apps we have uh, back in the Cape Cod room. How do you Questions? charge for the apps? How, how do, how do uh, we collect how does, payment, you mean? Yeah, how does someone... So this is through, this is through the uh, iTunes store, so, uh, you know, you own an iPhone, you own an iPad, you go up to the app store, you click buy, you put in your password, they charge your credit card. We, uh, you know, uh, people may not know this, uh, uh, developers get 70%, Apple keeps 30% of whatever price you see up there for the app. How much do you charge? So for this app that uh, we're showing, I communicate, we charge $50 for the app for uh, the iPad. We charge 35 for uh, the iPhone or the iPod Touch. And, you know, it's worth noting that that's much cheaper than that you know, uh, the parents are used to charging for apps that do similar, similar things on uh, you know dedicated devices. I have a disabled child. Do you find that these apps are specifically good for certain learning disabilities? Um, 
help me with kind of who your target market is for, for children or adults. Yeah, sure. So the target market ended up being, we really put it out as a hobby two years ago because it worked great for our son. So really it's taken off in the autistic community because transitions are very tough or making choices or even their uh, manual dexterity. So with the iPad, they're able to point at things. You, the gestures are intuitive. You know, it's really taken off in that. Uh, in speech language, also reinforcing echoing words, learning new vocabulary. That type of thing is where it's really taken off. Very cool. Thank you. One more question. Yes. Can it integrate with video so that if someone only knows sign? So you've been, so good segue. We have another application that allows you to uh, do video modeling. So you can record videos on the fly or load your own videos. And you swipe through these videos to show expected behaviors inside of it. So this app does not do video, it just does pictures and audio. But we have another app uh, that costs $10, it's called My Pictures Talk, that I, I can show you. You can record, uh, uh, record video and you, you swipe through to the next step if you want and you create stories out of that to reinforce behavior. Thank you.